Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Diani. Today we have an incredibly exciting topic that will completely revolutionize the way you develop your applications. In this video, we will be diving into the remarkable integration of GitHub in Power Apps. If you're a developer or a Power Apps user, this is definitely the video you don't want to miss. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. But before we delve into the nitty gritty details, let's take a moment to understand what GitHub is and how it's such a game changer. GitHub is a powerful web-based platform that provides developers with a collaborative space to host, review, and manage their code repositories. It offers exceptional functionalities and features like version control, issue tracking, and seamless collaboration. Now imagine harnessing the capabilities of GitHub within Power Apps. That's exactly what we'll be exploring today. I want to remind you to please subscribe, like, and comment to get exciting updates and information on technologies related to the Power Platform, Dynamics, Development, and more. Your support is greatly appreciated. One of the most significant advantages of integrating GitHub into Power Apps is the ability to streamline your development process. With GitHub, you can effortlessly manage your app source, track changes, and collaborate with others in real time. Gone are the days of manual file management and scattered code snippets. GitHub integration brings order and efficiency to your app development journey. Now let's take a closer look at some of the key features and benefits of GitHub integration in Power Apps. First and foremost, you can now seamlessly sync your Power Apps projects with GitHub repository. This means you have a centralized location for your code base, making it easy to track changes, manage versions, and collaborate with your team. To begin, let's set up Git. For this demonstration, we will use GitHub. However, you can also use Azure DevOps depending on your team's preferred code repository. Start by creating a repository for your application on GitHub. I'll name it Power Apps for now. Make sure to choose the private option because this functionality only works with private repositories. Add a readme file, create your repository. Once the repository is created, You'll notice that it generated a branch called main by default. For now, this is fine, but depending on your use case, you can change it later. To complete the GitHub setup, we need to create a token, which we'll use to authenticate Power Apps and connect it to our newly created repositories in GitHub. Please note that the connection between version control and Power Apps is established using a personal token and not a Git username or password to create a token. Go to the Personal Access Tokens section under Settings. Click on Developer Settings, then expand the Personal Access Tokens option and select Tokens. On the right hand side, click on Generate New Token button. In the token creation pop-up, select the expiration date. For this example, I'll choose no expiration and proceed with the token creation. Once the token is created, copy it to a safe place as we'll use it in Power App Studio for our Canvas app. Now we have a dedicated space for our application in GitHub. Let's head over to Power Platform and open our solution where we've created our Canvas Power App to set it up for integration. Once it's open in the studio, go to its settings. Git version control can be found under the experimental features. When we enable this feature, a new section called Git version control will appear in the menu. Click on the connect button to establish a connection to the version control and then input your Git repository URL, branch and directory. Please ensure that the provided repository exists. If the branch or the directory is not found, Power Apps will create it for you. Finally. Log in using your personal access token created in GitHub. 
It's important to note that Power Apps does not store your Git password. Therefore, you should save the token in a password manager or your browser's memory. Otherwise, you'll need to create a new token every time you open Power Apps for editing or making modifications. Now that the connection is established, the missing Power Apps directory will be created in GitHub. Let's make some changes to that. The save changes will be immediately visible in GitHub. Notice that I didn't have to execute any GitHub commands from the command line. I didn't even need to know what those commands are. When saving, Power App Studio automatically checks if anyone else has edited the app and the changes will appear automatically. We can also commit the changes using the sync button at the top right. Two users can simultaneously edit the Power App without any issues. And there we have it, GitHub integration in Power Apps unlocks a whole new level of development efficiency, collaboration, and code management. Whether you're a seasoned developer or just getting started with your Power Apps journey, this integration is a game changer that will accelerate your app development process. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found this information valuable, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech content. Let us know in the comments below if you've tried GitHub integration in Power Apps and share your experience with us. Until next time, happy coding!